Hi guys! <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulties, uh, but we are back now and we are live and happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, we were trying to film this thing. We're filming on my phone and we were doing it like we normally do horizontally and um, it just wasn't working. So I am glad you guys are patient with us <laughs> and give us a few minutes to get technical things figured out. So people are popping on now. So good deal. So hi, I'm excited. We're going to be making popcorn tonight. Um, a lot of times people want to know what can you snack on that is plant-based and healthy and popcorn is a great thing to be able to eat and snack on. I think uh, obviously the problem for most people comes traditionally when you make the popcorn and then you put butter and grease and all that on it, but that's not necessary. You can still have delicious popcorn seasoned with a lot of different things um, and have it be healthy and you don't have to, um, you know, have the greasy cans and the fat um, for your thighs and the saturated fat for your heart, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to show you, we're going to show you a better way to do that. It's funny, my sister, uh, Jenna Michelle, who I call Shelbo, <laughs> we've got her where you can see her tonight, which is so much better. It always looks like I'm talking to myself because she's usually across the across the bar area from me, but this is much better. And just so happens she has a different popcorn maker than I do. And so um, she brought hers and we're gonna show you how to make it in both of them. So you'll have a choice and show you lots of seasoning. So yeah, folks are really starting to get on here now. We've got like 24, 25 on here. So, all right, I'm glad you're tuning in. I hope your Tuesday is going well uh, or has gone well. It's 7 o'clock uh, in the evening here, and I know it's not that late for a lot of you guys, um, depending on where you are, but uh, it's dark here already. We were just talking about how... Um, it's starting to feel like fall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And some temperatures ways, are nice. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The temperatures have been actually kind of cold. Yeah. Um, but I, I like this time of year. I get more rest because I go to bed earlier. Um, but yeah, like right now, it just feels, feels late. It feels like... Nine or ten o'clock. Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. And I had a crazy, crazy day. Oh my gosh. Um, we we were not here last week. Um, we took the week off from our live because we were in Tennessee on vacation, and we had a really good time. I posted pictures of me and Marley hiking and um, some of the fun stuff that we did, and we had a really good time. Uh, it was beautiful. The weather was perfect. Uh, but my husband got sick. Um, we got there on Sunday, and he started getting sick. I think it was Monday night. So he had one good day, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it was. It, I'm not going to kid you. It was. It was tough there for a while. Uh, we ended up coming home a day early, and um, Marley was having some problems. I know in the pictures. I mean, she really did great. She hiked with me on the trails and everything. But for a couple of weeks now, she's probably two and a half weeks, maybe. Maybe two and a half weeks. She's been doing this strange thing. Um, Marley's my German Shepherd, for those of you who do not know. Uh, she's my girl. She's my sidekick. Um, and she's three. But she was doing this. It started um, not very frequently. But we could tell she was a little uncomfortable. And I'm not talking about last week when we were at Tennessee. I'm talking before that. Like I said, it's been a couple of weeks. She was just doing this thing with her mouth. She was turning to the right. And I was thinking, okay, she might have an abscessed tooth or something. Um, and it, it kept getting worse, and so today she actually had to go and be put, uh, sedated, and they had to check her mouth, and all this kind of stuff, so, um, I was thinking it might be something in the roof of her mouth, and nothing is easy around here. Oh, heaven help us. Uh, it seems like lately nothing is easy, so it's not. They couldn't find anything in the roof of her mouth, and they couldn't find anything with her tooth. They think she may have an autoimmune disease, um. It's something not as serious as many other. Isn't that funny, though? Because my family is riddled with autoimmune disease. My sister has RA. My mom has RA. Um, and now my dog has something I can't even pronounce. It just tightens the... Uh, they don't know for sure. They did a blood test on her that we'll know in about 10 days. But um, her jaw is rigid. Um, and no, it's not, it's not tetanus. Um, but, yeah, they think it's this... Um, 
thing that's treatable with, uh, they put her on prednisone. She is such a sleepy girl. I'm looking at her right now. She's over on the couch and uh, she's still drunk from the drugs. <laughs> and they put her on prednisone. So hopefully, uh, those of you who pray, please pray for my dog Marley that they can get her straightened out and we'll find out for sure if that's what it is and that um, they can, you know, work on that and get her fixed. So I appreciate that so much. Let's see what some of you guys are saying. Can I do this? Watch. She's, my sister's letting me have her phone again. See, yours is sideways. What do I do? Did you break mine too? I broke hers <laughs> too. Just scroll up. Okay. Uh, okay. No, that's I, I am not technical. Yeah, yeah, you guys are going to see a, a live pop up on my page and I can't get it down now and it's probably a few seconds long where oops, it's sideways. So, but anyway, we are working on it and I'm going to see what you guys are saying. Thank you. And it's still sideways, but that doesn't matter. Okay, there's my Norma. Hey, Norma. You know what, Norma? I didn't realize you were in Arizona. I don't think I even thought about where you were from, but you're in Arizona. How about that? I'm glad you're on here. You're so good with... Hi, that was Dawn. I saw Dawn pop up, and then she... There, there you are. And Becky. Becky, hello. Becky and Seth. Um, so we're going to be drawing for, or we're going to be choosing for a lot of prizes tonight. I decided to do four prizes, um, instead of two or three because we missed last week. And it seems like it's only fair if we make it up a little bit. So I'm going to show you, what, let's go ahead and show them what we're going to, I'm going to okay. show you what we are going to give away tonight. Um, one is going to be prevent and reverse heart disease. The book by Dr. Uh, Colin, no, not Colin Campbell, by Caldwell Esselstyn. Um, many of you probably have this, so if you have it, um, don't say you want it. <laughs> Let's give it to somebody who does it. We've given at least one or more of these away, um, but or, or you know what? If you have it and you want to give it to somebody in your family that has heart disease to encourage them, then that would be okay too. Uh, we're going to give this book away. We're going to give away. I think I prompt did I promise last week? I'm thinking I might have said we were going to give Sid's. This is the Plan A Diet book. Sid, are you on here? Sid Notter is the author of this wonderful book, and it's a faith-based, plant-based book. Um, it says no food restriction, uh, 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 calorie counting, or willpower requ required. So she says it's combining whole food, plant-based nutrition with the timeless w wisdom of scripture. And I've read it, and it's awesome. Um, and Sid is so gracious and allows us to give one of these away a month. She said we could give away more, but I'm trying not to take advantage of her. So we're going to give this book away, and uh, she'll send you a copy uh, with a personal note from her. And we're going to give away a t-shirt. You've got yours on. I Sister's do. got hers on. My whoop, whoop, whoop. She's representing. So we'll give away a t-shirt. We have them in small, medium, large, and extra large. You can choose your size. Oh, and we'll give away a coffee mug. An eat plant-based coffee mug with the logo on both sides. So let's just start off giving. You know what? It was your idea. You remember? Oh, what was this was you? her. This was my sister, Jane Michelle's idea. Not last week because we weren't here, but the week before, so many people wanted the t-shirt. She yeah. said, throw the names of the people who didn't win the t-shirt into the bucket, which I also added names for many of you who are sprinkling and watering. Uh, we all know what that means, sprinkling and watering, because we're not supposed to say that word. Um, things, uh, you know. I can see the people who are doing that and what they're sprinkling in water. And so I put your name in here with what you sprinkled or watered. And so you're in here too. I've done quite a few of those. So I, uh, Jen and Michelle said, do it for the t-shirt. So let's do it for the t-shirt. We'll give it away first. Let's see who's going to win. So these are names from people who wanted it last week or who have sprinkled and watered things from our Facebook page. So let's do it. And somebody actually told me at our last Facebook, I can't remember who it was, she said, it's my birthday and I want the shirt. And I felt so badly because I didn't see it until later when I was going by. <laughs> three. So whoever you are, I don't remember now, but I put your name in here three times because it was your birthday. Um, ah, this is somebody different. Okay, Jeff. You know what? Let's give away two shirts because Jeff Hudson 
It says he sprinkled vanilla crock pot cake. So Jeff Hudson, I don't remember seeing his name on here before though, but he, he sprinkled something on the page. So Jeff Hudson, if you're watching, um, then say you're watching or private message me if you watch this replay and we will get a shirt to you. I'm going to, I'm going to choose somebody else, uh, because I've been having trouble with, um, finding some of these folks that I pulled that I don't see on the live. Um, I'm having trouble getting in touch with them. So, all right. Oh, okay. Here's Judy Duke. Judy Duke, you said you wanted the shirt last week. Are you on here? You know, she's on here. I have, I have I to get froze up. up. I'm not sure. I probably wrote something again. But Judy Duke, um, if you want the t-shirt, uh, then let us know. Uh, just say, hey, I'm here. And let us know. And then you can private message me your address and the size that you want. And we will get it to you. So we'll mail that out. Um all right, so that's the only one. I'm going to save both of those so we'll remember who won those. Um, and the rest of them we're going to choose from you guys who are tuned in tonight for the other prizes. Um, okay, let's see what all I was going to tell you. Okay, so, yeah, our trip, I told you about Marley. I told you on our last live I would tell you a few things that we took as food because we went to this really old cabin in Tennessee in the mountains and it's rustic, and we take all of our food. Did I tear it up? Um, yeah, you did. No, <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. It's freezing up. It is. Okay. Well, so maybe you can just everybody me. else is doing good. Oh, Nikki said your kitchen is beautiful. My Thank computer you, is Nikki. working, so okay, we'll and just go with that. that far. I can see, but I can't see that far away. You guys are on a tripod, like however many feet away that is, at least four, and I can't see without my glasses, so. Um, but that's okay. You keep me up on what they're right. saying. I'm going to try to get you set up. And then we will know what you guys are saying. And maybe um, Jeff or Judy, J&J, huh, &J, won the t-shirts. So you can let us know if you are tuning in and um, how to get the shirts to you. So, um, yeah. So I mentioned going to the cabin and that we make all of our food. Got it. Oh. Thank you. Now I can see who's on here. Thank you. Lee. Hi. Diane Town. I see your name a lot. You're from Arizona, too. Look at you. Mesa, Arizona. Okay. Good deal. I'm glad to see. And Nikki, thank you for the compliment on the kitchen. This was my dream kitchen. We've only been in here a year, and I absolutely love it. And it disappeared again. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, but anyway, we're going we're gonna to go with yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so... Some of the things that I took on our trip that might inspire some of you if you are traveling, uh, or even just for dinner, easy dinners, um, so for, or breakfast, so for breakfast, uh, we had grits, I took uh, grits, and then we just seasoned them, for my husband, we seasoned them with um, amino acids, you guys know, we use amino acids, it's sort of like soy sauce, but it's gluten-free, we're not gluten-free, but I just really like this, it's got a great flavor. So we season the grits with that and a little bit of salt. For my grits, I use nutritional yeast because it has that cheesy nutty flavor. Uh, we put salt and pepper on them. Um, and we took oatmeal and fruit. I took uh, bagels and I made the uh, vegan cream cheese out of uh, cashews. It was delicious. Uh, so we had uh, toasted bagels and cream cheese with fruit sometimes and I don't know if you've been on the website or not but um, to see the, some of the breakfast items that we have but I have something on there called breakfast sandwiches and so I make tempeh bacon and then we either serve it on a toasted bagel or on a taste toasted English muffin and I put my homemade mayonnaise on it and fresh greens usually spinach but I had a, a, like a salad green mixture this time, and I put mustard on it. So that's some of the things we did for breakfast. I was trying to think what else. I, I wrote some of it down so I wouldn't forget. Oh, pancakes. Remember the other day, a few weeks ago, I did pancakes, and I made a bunch of them on here. Um, no, I didn't. What was that? Anyway, I made pancakes. What was I doing the pancakes for? I made a bunch of Anyway, I froze them. We are talking about doing pancakes live yeah. in about two weeks, but... For some reason, I was thinking I did some of them live, but I haven't. It was the black bean burgers that I was taking with me. So, 
uh, I froze, I made pancakes and froze them. And so we took those and topped them with fruit, with uh, blueberries and strawberries and maple syrup. Um, and so while we're talking about that, I'll go ahead and tell you next week, uh, the live is going to be on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Jen Michelle's not going to be with us because you're going to be in Florida with her oldest son and their family visiting and taking care of grandbabies. So um, we're just we're going to make oat flour next week and talk about maybe some different kinds of flours that you can do. And then building on that, the following week we will be making the pancakes, the banana oat pancakes. Um, but back to breakfast. So that was pretty much for breakfast what we did. I'm going to tell you the truth. I packed all this food for the cabin. Uh, and I overpacked because we ended up sleeping in. Thank goodness we got to sleep in a lot of mornings. And we didn't eat breakfast until 9.30 or 10 o'clock. And when you do that, uh, that makes lunch be real late. So we skipped lunch a lot and just snacked and then just ate dinner. So some of the things that I took were nachos with the cheese, vegan cheese sauce. Uh, we did taco potatoes. So we made sandwiches like avocado and tomato sandwiches. Um, I took some squash uh, and corn and just different things like that. For snacks, I made a bunch of hummus and took uh, celery sticks, carrot sticks, um, and cucumber slices. And we snacked on those and fresh fruit and popcorn like we're about to make. Um, and uh, just things like that. So we had a really good time. It was a great trip. Other than Nikki getting sick and Marley having her issues, um, it was a really good trip. And so... Yeah, those are some ideas for you guys. You can get on the website and find any of those things. The grits are on the website. All you have to do is use the search bar at the top, type in grits if that's what you You can just type in breakfast and it'll bring up the whole list of breakfast items for you to get inspired and get ideas from. So I'll put that up. Um, can yes. you talk about tempeh a little bit? Oh, Ruth tempeh. And Laura were saying that they Okay. Interested in tempeh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, tempeh is, is just soybeans. Um, that uh, I buy it at the grocery store. I mean, I would say most or a whole lot of grocery stores have it now. Used to, tempeh was something you'd have to go to a health food store or Earth Fair or Whole Foods or something to find. But you can find it in most grocery stores now. In the produce section, uh, where you find like uh, tofu and things like that and miso. Uh, at our Ingles, they keep all those little items in the same area of the produce section. Um, but yeah, it's really just soybeans and it's in, I, I don't even have any because I made bacon out of all of it. Now it's all sliced up and so I don't have any whole packs I, or I would show you. I'm thinking Life Lifehouse is the name of the one that my grocery store carries, but there are plenty of different brands. Um, but yeah, I just slice it up. If you go to the website, you might put this link up for bacon if you hadn't already. Okay. Um, if you just buy tempeh, I mix together. Uh, soy sauce, sm uh, liquid smoke, and maple syrup. Um, and uh, I, I make, you know, just a marinade out of that. And then I marinate the uh, tempeh in it for, I usually do it at least overnight. Um, and you can do it for longer if you want to. And then I get it out and I freeze it. And I put, um, you know, like um, pieces of wax paper between it. And then as we want it on weekend mornings is usually when we do our breakfast sandwich thing then I'll just pull out the frozen tempeh that's already sliced. You, you slice it before you marinate it. Um, all the instructions are on the website. And then we use it, you know, you can serve it with grits. You can serve it on a sandwich instead of a BLT. We call it a TLT because it's a tempeh lettuce and tomato. Uh, but it's really, really good. And you don't have to just put bacon seasoning on it. Um, you could, we've used it in stir fries and things before too. So uh, it's just a... A meat replacer, a very wholesome meat replacer because the only ingredient is soybeans in it. So it's a really good option. Um, do I need to know anything? Anything mm, else no, going on? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So um, I, I wish I could see what they're saying. What's Norma saying? She's got COVID. Norma, you have COVID? Oh, yeah, my goodness. She thought her allergies were bad, but mm, she's <laughs> that a little seems, more serious. Than that, that seems to be going oh, Truthfully, I had COVID. Has that been a month ago? Something like that. A month or more ago, I got it too, which um, it wasn't a bad case. It was pretty mild. That's when we were at the lake, so it's probably been a couple of months ago, actually. Um, I got it when we were at uh, the lake, 
and uh, it, you know I was still able to to do things, but it was made me feel you know all stopped up. I hope you get to feeling better, girl. Um, I hate that you've got that, but uh, keep eating those plants and those fruit, and I'm sure um, you will heal quickly. So sorry about that, um, and I hope you feel better really soon. And um, so I think what we're going to do is um, let's give one more thing away and then let's make the um, let's make the popcorn. I think let's give a mug away. All right. So who wants the mug? Um, you have to be in the States. Um, and so if you're in the States and you want the mug, just say I want the mug and let's choose somebody. So. Well, it's we'll working. See. You can try not to break it. In the meantime, while you're uh, waiting for some people to respond. Oh, okay. Um, you. She, um, I think it was Bonnie asked, and I hope I said that right. Um, do you ever eat out? I do yes. eat out. Yes, <laughs> I do eat out. Um, some of my favorite places to eat are um, Thai. I love Thai food. And Chinese food and Mexican food. Like on Sundays after church, sometimes there's a uh, well, there's lots of Mexican restaurants around here. I'm afraid to touch it because I might mess up. Um, so um, and it went away again, Shabu. I'm not kidding. I okay. didn't touch it. See what you come over here real quick. She's gonna turn around real fast okay, guys. and look at a really reliable source. So, oh, Stacy wants the mug. Oh, everybody wants the mug. Oh my goodness. Okay, Norma. Norma, you're sick, girl. You're going to get the mug. Well, you, you're going to get the mug because you're feeling bad, Norma. You send me your address. Uh, private message me. She's on here all the time. I know. I know all right. Yeah. So we are going to fix you up. You finally won something. Isn't it about time after all this time you're on here and so active? Um, so sister's getting your um, name down for it. And you private message me and fill that thing up with some hot tea or something that'll make you feel better and that is awesome thank right. you and then get back to eating out oh eating out thank you oh, I my brain um so on sundays after church often uh we will go to a mexican restaurant and there's options that you can do for me um i kind of some creature of habit maybe it's not the only thing I ever get but most of the time I get vegetable fajitas you know this because you've heard we go we go together often um, I order vegetable fajitas no cheese no sour cream no oil and you know those hot is it metal or cast iron yeah. cast iron things that they bring out sizzling um, the folks that we go to are so good about it and they really I guess they put a little water on there to uh, and they bring that those vegetables out it's usually broccoli and mushrooms and carrots and onions and it, they're actually caramelized onto that cast iron and it's still sizzling like you could get a facial over it when they bring it and then they just bring guac um, and lettuce and pico and uh, yeah it's delicious so that's what I normally get is the fajitas if I go eat Thai um, my thing is masamon. It's a curry. You love masamon mm -hmm. too. It's oh, a yeah. curry, and I get steamed tofu in it. Um, if I we've got the Chinese restaurant um, in the next town over, kind of trained. They get me and my sister confused because <laughs> she doesn't like mushrooms, and I do. But we ordered basically the same thing. Yeah. We get vegetable soup, and they make it with vegetable broth, uh, not you know chicken broth or anything else. We get um, we get vegetable lo mein. Uh, with no eggs in it, we get oh, no, not that's a make fun, no eggs in it, and then sometimes we get the lo mein and we get a uh, stir fried vegetables with rice. Um, so there's just ways that you can eat out. There's um, there's an article I always say this, but it's just great resources to point you to. Go to the website, type in uh, dining out maybe or restaurants or something, and it should should pull up the article, and I've got them all broken down into the different places that I go and what we order and things that you can do to help um, the wait, wait staff to um, 
be kind to them. That's the biggest thing. Be kind to them. And they, my experience has been they try to work with you. So, yeah, that should maybe give you some ideas. The pizza place we ate at the other day was Oh, great. yeah, there's pizza options, too. You can just leave off the cheese, do the marinara. There's all kinds of vegetables. We always ask for extra marinara. Um, but, yeah, there's always options that you can do. You just have to um, think creatively, sometimes call ahead. Uh, and then if you have someone more close to you and you can kind of teach them and guide them and order there often, uh, like when I call the Chinese restaurant, all I have to say is, I'm Terry, the veggie lady. And she says, uh, are you the sister that wants mushrooms or no mushrooms? And I say, I want my mushrooms. So she knows who we are. She says, two soups? We say yes. <laughs> she, she knows she knows us that well. Um, but yeah, if you order from the same place uh, over and over, then you can, you can make them, you know, understand what you're doing. So... All right, do I need to know anything else before uh, we start? I think we're good right now. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make popcorn in my popper, and then you are going to show them, aren't you? You well, want Mine is so easy, but she's I'll show you my popcorn She's going to show you. <laughs> okay, so um, popcorn in itself is healthy. It's just corn kernels. I don't know if you can see it, but I think you can. So my popper is just called Power Pop. I have had this brand forever and ever. I've been giving it away as a wedding gift to some folks with a big uh, bag of just, you know, just corn kernels to pop in it. But it's in the microwave. Um, I, I get my popcorn and put it in an airtight container. And so this one, you don't have to have any oil for it. It has a little um, filter thing in the bottom. Yours doesn't even use a filter, does it? Mm -hmm. Hers doesn't use a filter, so we'll show you it in just a minute. And she, you put up the link I'll for it. Up, She's going to put the link up for these popcorn poppers. But um, I just pour a little bit in the bottom. I honestly tend to overfill this thing. And then, then my, the lid pops up. And um, and I have popcorn in my microwave. But um, you just that's all you do is you put it in here. Um, it has this detachable um, heating thing. Um, so when you, when you wash it, I hand wash mine. I don't, I don't know if you can put it in the, uh, dishwasher or not. I don't. Uh, I just hand wash mine every time. But this detaches. And then I put it in there for three minutes. I do check on it and your microwave may be different than mine. Um, but yeah, I just do three minutes. And it pops. And so it's that easy. They're seriously are some folks that pop popcorn in a brown paper bag. Um, I have not done it. Uh, but I do have the instructions from somebody else on the website. Will you put up that link yes. uh, There's a, an article, recipe, article, whatever, on the website. And Jenny Michelle's going to put it up. Uh, it's going to have all these seasonings, so you don't have to sit here and write them all down. It'll give you the whole list. But I do have the whole list. I'll read some off to you. But... Um, but yeah, there's instructions for using this. There's instructions for the stove top. There's instructions for using a brown paper bag in your microwave if you want to. And then we're going to find out how my sister uses this one. Um, so, and hers doesn't need a filter, so that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually, I've never seen hers work, so I'm curious about that. But you can hear mine already popping. Um, so, when we get it out... Um, on movie night uh, here, usually on the weekends, I just get a big bowl. Uh, and the reason is because uh, we're going to be tossing it around a little bit to get the seasonings mixed up. Boy, it smells good. It smells like a dorm room <laughs> with popcorn. And we're going to talk about some of the things you can use to um, flavor yours. And I'll tell you some of my favorites and some of my husband's favorites. And I have a few of them here um, that I will you okay so there's different options for the liquids um, and my favorite is yeah I see the list starting to come up now with this one when it starts slowing down you can hear it's really popping right now but when it starts slowing down in, in just a second what says it's still got a minute I'm probably not gonna let that go for that whole minute um because I I sometimes burn it. I just do. And my husband hates it when I do. Okay, it's really slowing down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. So that was more like two minutes. Oh, I didn't get my base on it as well. Alright, but here we go. Alright, so you can see smoking. 
See that popcorn? That's so yummy. All right, so I'm gonna, what I do, um, because you can't really season it in here. There's no room to season it. Uh, and it get if you try to do it in there, make your popper all messy. So what I do is pour it into a larger bowl. You see how much more room I have in here? And this is where I do the seasoning. So my favorite seasoning is lime juice. Um, and I get these nozzles. Uh, you can order them. I put the nozzle link. She's going to put the nozzle link. I just, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Walmart. They're just nozzles. Um, and you can put them on, you know, your, your containers. And then you can just spritz. I leave this in the refrigerator all the time with the nozzle on it because I spritz lime juice on um, corn on the cob. I really put it on so many things. Um, rice bowls, just a lot of things. So that's the way it's stored in my refrigerator. And you can do that with so many things. I'm going to show you how I spritz it. I'm going to show you how I do it my way. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you some other options. So I've got my bowl. I spritz it like this. See, and you don't want to over spritz it. And then you can start doing seasonings. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. And then I like to use, do you guys know what this is? It's tahine. I used to say tajine or something, but it's tajine. It's a, a Mexican seasoning, and it's just got chili and lime in it, basically. What does it have in it? Let's see. Let me find my glasses. Oh, here they are. And see, what's that paper bag recipe you were talking about? It's, um, it's in the popcorn one. You just it's have to scroll. Really okay. it's, it's actually in it. In the instructions. Okay. Okay. All right. It's yep. in. So, chili pepper, sea salt, <coughs> citric acid. Um, that's it. That's all that's in here. So, I really like the chili powder lime aspect of this. It's just really good. So, I sprinkle some of that on here. And then, sometimes I'll put chili powder, guys. Um, if you, I mean... Chili powder, at least this brand, isn't, and I think this is, I think this is the Aldi brand. It's not like real hot. If you go to uh, an Asian market and buy chili powder, it's going to be hot, so you better be ready for that. Uh, but yeah, just whatever seasonings. We put onion powder, garlic powder, not all at the same time. I'm going to give you some good mixtures that go together. But then, see this? I just toss it, and then I've got some that hasn't been seasoned, so I spritz it. I put a little bit more of the seasoning. You know, I'm going to go ahead and put some, because um, I'm going to be eating this in a little while. This is my favorite, is nutritional yeast. If you don't know what nutritional yeast is, you need to fix that really quick. Um, it's not baking yeast. It's inactive yeast. It's just for seasoning. It's got a nutty, cheesy flavor. You can put it on pizza, baked potatoes, lots of stuff, but popcorn, it's awesome on. So then you just keep tossing it like this. And I'm probably going to spritz it just a little bit more like that. And see, now the seasonings are kind of going down to the bottom. But if you keep just spritzing a little bit here and there, the popcorn, it wets it just enough, not to make it soggy, but to make it hold um, some of those seasonings. And I think I've got plenty of seasonings on here now. But you're going to do this to your taste because I can't tell you a teaspoon of this or a teaspoon of that. You're just going to have to, um, you're just going to, have to figure it out as you go and taste it. And then if it doesn't have enough, then um, add some. So um, you can see, this is my popcorn. Um, other options that we sometimes do that are great, if you like amino acids that has sort of a salty um, soy sauce flavor to it, then put your nozzle on your bottle and use it like I just did the lime juice. Um, you can do it, I'm gonna tell you some other where are they? Some other liquids that you could use. Now, the liquids are going to be uh, just to barely dampen the popcorn enough to make your seasonings stick. Here are some other options. Uh, okay, lime juice, lemon juice, water. Yes, you could do water, but the juices tend to just have, just add more flavor. Pickle juice. Not kidding. Uh, were you the one that said you love pickle juice? <laughs> Do you like it the sweet or the deal or both? I use deal. Yeah. Deal. Pickle juice. Uh, you know, if you normally have pickles, what do you do? Do you just save the, 
the juice. I saved the juice and I pour it in a spray bottle <laughs> when I get done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And oh, then yeah. do you put the whole do you put the bottle and just keep it in your refrigerator? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. See that's and my husband loves sweet pickles, so I imagine I haven't tried him with that yet. You can try it with like the tahini. I bet that'd be really good. Ooh. The Deal sweet and spicy and tahini. Yeah. yeah, that would that's I use delicious. the tahini with the pickle juice. I like a mm. bite. I like mm -hmm. it with a bite. Back. That sounds mm -hmm. back. That sounds delicious. I think pickle juice is an awesome option. Balsamic vinegar. I've heard a lot of people say they do that. Apple that. cider vinegar. Some people do that too. Um, that would definitely give it a twang. Plum vinegar. I haven't tried that. And then it says any vinegar of your choice um, and soy sauce. If you don't have amino acids and you still want that salty kind of a flavor, use soy sauce. Okay. Just put your nozzle on there. Norma says that her husband uses hooch. <laughs> Moo. Oh, Norma, do you mean uh, you mean nutritional yeast? Does she say nooch or hooch? hooch? Do you know what hooch is? I figured it was alcohol. I don't know. <laughs> Norman, does he put alcohol on his popcorn? Is that what you mean? Some people call nutritional yeast nooch. So oh, yeah, there is. Oh, maybe maybe it was a, a, a typo. Uh, a typo. I Norma, I got to know now. Is your husband putting alcohol on your popcorn or are you talking about nutritional yeast? Yeah, Karen did say nooch. So okay, she, she okay. Said that. That's pretty cool. But That's Norma, funny. Hey, you're somebody 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 quick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you might get over the COVID but really quick if you do that. Um, okay, so those were the liquids. Here's some of the dry seasonings that you can do. I said chili powder, nutritional. Oh, these are mixtures, okay? And again, if you go to the link that uh, Jody Michelle's putting up, these mixtures, what would you call that? Variations uh, that pair well together. So as I read them off, these, these would be ones you would put together at the same time. So one seasoning packet would be chili powder, nutritional yeast, and sea salt. That's, that's mostly me. Um, another option is lime juice, lemon pepper, dry seasoning, I don't know, oh, lemon pepper dry seasoning, and salt. Uh, another combination would be amino acids and nutritional yeast. Another would be Tabasco sauce and nutritional yeast. Now, I like heat. I'm not sure how I would feel about Tabasco <laughs> sauce, but yeah, I will say I do ha I have put, um, I don't know if I put it out here, I did, cayenne pepper. Um, so I occasionally sprinkle it on mine, but I have to be so careful and not put any on my husband because he gets angry, <laughs> angry with me if I get his hot. Uh, so another combo is balsamic vinegar, garlic, salt, and onion powder. That trio goes well together. Ooh, turmeric. I didn't pull out the turmeric, but uh, turmeric and cayenne pepper. Hmm. Okay. Dill pickle juice and chili powder. And, uh... Apple cider vinegar, lemon pepper, and sea salt. Another combo. Ooh, lime juice and taco seasoning. I think I have tried that. It's been a long time ago, but you know the dry taco seasoning? I still think we need to do a recipe for that. You know, we could just oh, put the, the seasoning blend. itself. Like a blend, yeah. 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 But lime juice and taco seasoning sounds really yeah, good. So good. Uh, and here's another one. Lime juice and smoked, smoked paprika. Uh... Plum vinegar, garlic powder, and salt. Um, another one, pickle juice, dill. So they're using dill pickle juice and then adding more dill to it. Um, chili powder, garlic powder, and cinnamon. Now that sounds a little interesting. weird. I'd be willing to try it. Yeah. The cinnamon sounds a little strange, but I think I would do it. Do with the fall. Oh, it would go with the fall. It would. Okay, here's another one. Soy sauce, lemon pepper, curry. Together? Garlic powder and dill. Okay, that's a lot. Somebody's going, <laughs> somebody's going cray cray. <laughs> somebody's got taste buds like just all over the spectrum there. Um, okay, Trader Joe's chili lime. Now that is a good one. You'd need to spritz it with whatever, lime juice or something. Uh, or you might even do the amino acids. Old Bay seasoning. Oh, that would be that would be a good one. Okay, cinnamon and coconut cane sugar. You're talking Ooh. sweet there. Yeah, that'd be a different kind of a take on it. That sounds good. Oh, and here's another sweet one: maple syrup drizzled over and sprinkled with cinnamon. Now you couldn't put that in a sprayer, but you could, oh, like they said, drizzle it and keep. 
flopping around like that and then put your cinnamon on it. That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah. yeah, especially for the fall. I think that that sounds delicious. But that's like 20 combinations, guys, that you could put on here to season. Okay, show us how to use yours. There's um, more? Yeah. Okay, you guys are coming up with some. Okay. Lisa said she uses ume vinegar, which would probably, Ooh. if it's Japanese, that would be that plum vinegar. Okay. I've never heard of that before, but she yeah. says she uses ume vinegar Ooh, and um, or hot sauce and garlic powder. Mmm, that sounds delicious, actually. And let me see. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> I just said that Norma's husband might need a plant-based shot glass to go with her mug. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, Jenny Michelle's daughter is on here. Hey, I am. Uh, <laughs> Louise said uh, they have granular maple syrup. They do? I have never, How did never I not seen know that before. That? Yeah. Where did you find that, Louise? Um, granular maple syrup. I guess you could certainly order it. I might order some of that just to yeah. try it. Because it's that would be great small. for seasoning. Yeah, uh, yeah. great. I yeah. Yeah. How in the world did you find it? And where did where did you get yours? Uh, it was Louise, right? Did you mm -hmm. order it like on Amazon or something, or where did you find it? Because I haven't even seen that in the store. But I will be I will be looking for that because that sounds that sounds yummy. Yeah, it sounds very different. And Peggy, she might have she might be taking the cake here. Mm -hmm. She says I make buttermilk uh, with soy milk, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. She said they always ate buttermilk with popcorn when they were a kid. I have never heard that. Do you mean you, you drink it while you eat popcorn? Um, that, you or do you spritz, spritz it? it. You, spritz you spritz your it. popcorn yes. with it. I love that idea of making your own vegan buttermilk. That's awesome. And then you spritz it. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, yeah, let me give that a try. Uh, Hybe. She's trying to find her so she can um, oh. send it. And then she oh, going through her cupboard. They have maple extract. And that might be great to Ooh, use yeah. uh, for spritz. Yeah, like That's vanilla extract. Yeah. yeah. Good, good ideas. I love that. Uh, I'm going to have to, I might, I might go through all of your comments and add them to the list on the article because some of those sound really good. Yeah. And that will give us uh, They've got some great something ideas to go there. back. I love your ideas. If y'all don't care, they're going to become, your ideas are going to become part of the article um, now. So um, that would be, just give people all kinds of options. So you want to show us yours? Sure. Okay. Okay. Let me, um. So, hers sounds like it's going to be super duper easy, too. Yeah, mine's cheating. It's so easy. Hot um, pop. Hot pop. There's no instructions. <laughs> so, basically, it's just, it collapses. Is that was what lid? I loved. This is the lid. Okay. Um, because I have a very small kitchen and no space. So, it's called a hot pop, and it's silicone, and it just opens up, and then... <laughs> Sometimes you just wipe it out. It doesn't get dirty yeah, out. Yeah. Nothing. And you don't put oil or anything mm -hmm. in there. It's just the popcorn. And so you fill it. It's got two little lines in the bottom of the bowl. Mm -hmm. And um, if you fill it to that top line, it's going to come over the top. But it doesn't take hardly anything. Does that? You put the top, the lid on it. And then it just keeps coming up as mm -hmm. it pops. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Don't put the lid on there too top, tight. You just set it on there after you get your popcorn in there. And it pushes the lid up with it. How many minutes does three it Three minutes. It says three. two to four, okay. uh, but mine's three, and um, it's done. That's pretty cool. And then, is that dishwasher safe? I don't have a dishwasher. Oh, that's true. Well, it's sil it's it's silicone is dishwasher yeah, safe. It, it is, is probably. I can't see. Wait, I got my glasses on my head. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I started using uh, an old cake Tupperware that? dish, because uh, I never use it for a cake anyway. And after I dump it, although it has handles... It's too hard. We'll, to see. we'll find out if it's dishwasher. You can, when she's put um, a link up for it, so it'll say on yeah. there. You can check the link to see if it's dishwasher safe. But if you, but like she said, it's dumping easy. it in my cake pan. Hold on a minute. I'm okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, 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 this is the best part. <laughs> dump it in that old Tupperware cake pan that your oh, mother gave the you. Lid for mm -hmm. And then do your spritzing and you shake your. I do the dill pickle juice and like the tahini, and I pop that lid on there and shake that puppy up. Mm. That's and a then great idea. Just yeah, I eat out of it. So you yeah. don't have to worry about it coming it out. It does not come that. out. Yeah. Good. And y'all, yeah, I'm telling you, it's so easy to clean up. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've been guilty. I've been guilty of that too. Just wipe it out. Yeah, it's so easy. Because the bowl is what gets dirty. Yeah, and it was cheap. It was like less than 15 bucks. So I'll, I'll put it up there. Yeah. It so these are great yeah. options, guys. Uh, 
Great easy, options. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah. And no yeah. oil. Yeah. You don't miss the oil. No, you it's... don't miss the oil. And the greasy hands, and you certainly don't miss yeah, the, the calories. Yeah, the air popper that I used to have, I mm -hmm. loved it, but it was so dry, you yeah. know, and yeah. it just oh, wasn't really. I see what you're saying. It the texture of the popcorn okay. wasn't as good, but this tastes like popcorn is supposed to taste mm -hmm. like. It's really good. I, it's just so easy, and you don't have to feel guilty about eating it because you're not taking in a ton of calories. Of course, popcorn on itself does have calories, but we're talking compared to movie popcorn or the back popcorn that you get that you put in the microwave that's already got butter and all that oil and stuff on it. Yeah. This is way much healthier. Guilt-free. Guilt-free, heart healthy, no saturated fat, any of that stuff. So these are really good options and I will update that article to include even more because I think there were 20 already. We're probably going to have 30 or more now at this point with all of you guys um, and your suggestions. I love, love, love that. Hey, I think I can see some. Hold on. Nicole, she disappeared. When I pick up your phone, it disappears. I'm just going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> Come back. Okay. Louise, Great River, oh, greatrivermaple.com. So that's oh, where you great. get the granular, um, the granular maple syrup for yeah, maple syrup, granular. <laughs> I don't know what the correct terminology is, but yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look that up and get some. Uh, let's see. Okay, how are we doing on time? I don't even know. What that is. Okay, we're doing great on time. Fifty-one minutes in. Okay, actually, less than that. Okay. Um, there's. Uh, let's see who it is. Um, Laura said the uh, friends did the buttermilk popcorn. They ate it like cereal. So they bowl with a spoon. Yep. Oh and, my uh, gosh. Yep. So it's, it's wet. Similar to cornbread. Uh, it, obviously, a couple of people know about this. This is not a. a where are you guys from? <laughs> that are doing that? I'm just wondering. We're yeah. in the south. I've never heard of that. Where are y'all from that y'all grew up doing that? Just curious. I've never heard of it. I haven't either. Somebody else told me uh, there was another one that I was scrolling. I'm scrolling really quick trying to catch up. And yeah. I'm, uh, way behind, but what brand of popcorn kernels do you buy? Well, let's just see. I really don't have a certain brand, guys. Um, I get as well. See, okay, so this is what I've got. Whoa. This is what I've got right now, and it's the Laura Lynn brand. Laura Lynn, um, here in the South, we have Ingalls. I don't know how far that franchise spreads, but this is just the Laura Lynn brand, and it's just popcorn kernels. Uh, there are so many different options, but I don't have one that I absolutely stick with all the time. But yeah, just uh, whatever wow. you can find. What? Uh, everywhere from Tennessee to California, our household just got cut out of it. We did not. We didn't get the memo. <laughs> my mom and my grandma did not know about buttermilk and popcorn. Oh, but we're really going to try it now. You know we are. <laughs> Jennifer says that her uncle used to add cashews to their popcorn as he popped it. Oh my. You mean, oh, it's roasting the pot. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. So, as it's popping, it's roasting the cashews. I'm going to try that. I will be trying Who that. said that? Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer, did he, did the cashews, did he leave them whole? Or did he, like, crunch them up any? I'm just curious. But whole kind of sounds better, doesn't it? Oh, man. Whole sounds better. <laughs> that sounds so good. I love what cashews. What a great idea. I mean, that's a terrific idea. I never, never would have thought of that. Um, that's crazy, but yeah, I love these ideas, guys, and later on, like, when this goes off, um, it pops up immediately as a replay, and I will go back and read, because I, you know, I'll answer as many questions and stuff, and I'll add your things to the article, but even after this goes off, if you think of more ideas, please continue to comment on the video and add them, because I'll keep going back to it, and, um, than just seeing the latest and, um, you know, answering you and uh, getting ideas. Getting ideas from you for the article um, that's already up. It's just going to be updated now. Um, let's see. Jody, is Jody on here? Um, I was going to check yeah. in with you, Jody. I think, you, I think you're probably on here. I saw you online earlier today. You, you said something to me. I can't remember now what it was. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well. I would love to hear an update on you that uh, Jody has gone through so many health problems and she's gone plant-based, she's committed to it, and she has been coming off of her diabetes medications um, 
and other things. So I'm just curious, Jody, if you're on here, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. And uh, I love following your progress. I think it's a great encouragement for all of us. Um, let's give away something. Okay, so we gave away the mug. I need to be more Whole cashews. Oh, whole cashews. Yeah. That makes so much sense. I'm coming back. I just want to mark a few things off. I can't find my ink pen. You got a pen? Uh, or pen? Do you actually? Pen 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 pen? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to, okay, so we gave away the t shirt. We gave away the mug. Let's give away. The Plan A Diet. Is Sid on here? I haven't seen Sid. Sid, if you're on here, um, let us know. Because I love it when you're on here and we're giving away your book. So, uh, the Plan A Diet is uh, combining whole food, plant-based nutrition with timeless wisdom of scripture. I love it. It's got um, Bible devotions throughout it. It has recipes. Uh, she even had a menu planner. I'm pretty sure it's been a few years since I read it, but I love it. And uh, Sid will send you like chapter six is how to manage your temple, and it's got a verse from First Corinthians. Don't you know that your body is a temple that belongs to the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit, whom you received from God, lives in you. You don't belong to yourselves. And so she talks about. Uh, you know, getting yourself healthy and willpower and everything, and then finding your strength through scripture. So I love that. So if you want this book, uh, say, because we're getting ready to oh, give another one. lots of responses already. Okay, yeah. choose, you choose one. Oh, no. no. Uh, I've been sitting here reading with no. Yale, and so you got to. She's, she's a good one. She's a good one. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, just pick a number, and I'll count down. She does not want to I don't want to spot. choose. Okay. They're, just, they're too right. funny, Please. and I love them all. Okay. Here we got. Has any? Okay. My goodness, why do you have glasses? Hold on. Hold on, guys. I tried to get her to wear contacts. She won't do it. I can't do <laughs> one in each eye with different things that made me cray cray. Uh, Louise. Louise neighbor. How did how did you say her name? It was like that way. Louise neighbor. She's Piz. about to slaughter your last uh, name. P I Z I A L I I. A L I. How would you Lydia. say it? I don't know. Is that Italian? But Louise, you know your name. <laughs> We're talking to you. <laughs> We're talking to you, Louise. Neighbor ends with a P. <laughs> yeah. You wanted the book, so um, if you will uh, private message me your address. I will get it to Sid, and Sid will write you a personal note and send you the book uh, because she is awesome. And we love her. And then the other thing we're going to give away. Okay, so this time you're going to have to say, oh, I want the heart book, I guess, or something. I <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. I took her pencil. Louise, I'm trying to get your book. <laughs> yeah, she does, and I won't remember who I gave it to. I have to go watch this again. Um, so just say you want uh, the heart book. So we'll know that that's the one. I just want to make sure if we choose somebody, they weren't talking about the Plan A Diet book because it's already gone. So if you want the heart book, just say, I want the heart book. And then I guess this time we'll choose a number. We'll okay. give you guys a few there minutes to You're respond. Right and then she, I'll choose a number between whatever she says and she'll count to see who that was. And that will be the last one. That will be the last thing we give away tonight. And while she's doing that, <clears throat> I was going to tell you guys something that I told you I was going to tell you. Um... I've told a few people um, that I've been going through lately, and I just want to be very transparent about it um, because we talk so much, you know, with Jody and Leslie and everybody. We talk about your health issues um, and, you know, how important it is to eat right and how much power there is in food for healing the body. <clears throat> And I know, uh, so many of you know my story, you know that I had joint problems 10 years ago, and that's what brought me to plant-based nutrition. I watched uh, Forks Over Knives, and then that started the whole thing, but it was all about my joints that were, it was a 10-year-long battle with them um, being stiff, swollen, painful, all of that, going plant-based, uh, really changed everything for me. And even my sister, who 
um, has rheumatoid arthritis, um, went plant-based years ago, got healthy and everything. So her story, you might want to put that one up too. Her story is new and fresh on the website. And then she went through some crisis in her life and got away from eating plant-based. And then that's when the rheumatoid arthritis, that's when she got the diagnosis and it really kicked in. And now she's completely plant-based and completely medication-free yep. and doing so well. Um, yes, thank you, Jesus, she said, yes. Um, and our mom has rheumatoid arthritis. So in the back of my mind, I'm thinking there is a good possibility that I too, I tested negative 10 years ago for rheumatoid arthritis, uh, but you tested negative two mm -hmm. times or three times yeah. or something. My mom tested negative. So there's a good chance that I probably may have it. Uh, and am in remission due to diet, which I am so thankful for and accept that. But uh, over the summer, um, I began to have some issues with my neck. It was a little stiff, and even I think the first things, I, I think I've lived with it so long and didn't realize that there was anything wrong. Uh, other people pointed it out to me. My husband, when I was getting off the couch <clears throat> back early, mid-summer, uh, we had been watching TV and I was getting up and we have this blanket that we throw on the couch that the dog lays on. And so when I get up, I tuck it back down in there and he said, what is wrong with you? And I said, nothing, because I feel fine. Nothing. And why? And he said, because you're moving weird. And I said, no, I'm not. Um, and it wasn't much longer after that. My mom said something similar when I was visiting her. She said, is your neck stiff? And I said, maybe a little bit, you know. Well, I went to... Uh, an orthopedic, um, golly, three, four weeks ago now, I guess. I don't even Maybe remember. Three. Three it's weeks ago. Been, yeah. Time just kind of goes. Um, and it's because my neck has been getting stiff, but not terrible. I don't, you know, it's not bad. It was just stiff. So my mind was saying, okay, it's maybe rheumatoid arthritis. Um, and I don't need, I didn't feel like I needed any help. I do yoga, I do everything and it's not hurting, but it's getting stiffer. Um, and so I just went to the doctor because I wanted x-rays. I thought maybe they would order the blood test too and just be able to say, okay, that is what's causing it. Um, and just know, just so that I would know. And lo and behold, um, started a avalanche of, ah. so, um, turns out I went, got the x-rays and, uh, they're not even looking right now, whether it's, um, RA or not, uh, because uh, the, when they did the x-rays of my neck, it's it's a train wreck kind of a thing. Um, I evidently was born with two of the vertebra, four and five, in my neck fused together. And I was aware of that from my age in my 20s because I had gone to a chiropractor at some point when my daughter was very young and he said, you have two of your vertebra fused in your neck. And I didn't think it was a big deal. <clears throat> it didn't hurt. I didn't even know about it. Um, and so, uh, you know, there, I just didn't do anything. And I'm very active. Um, and over the years, apparently, um, I have damaged my neck. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really even know exactly what I've done to it, but... Instead of having a natural curve to my neck like you're supposed to, I have a column. Um, so it's fused in naturally in those two spots. And because it's fused and because whatever I have done to it, I don't know, um, it's sliding. <laughs> the doctor said it looks like it's sliding forward. Um, it just looks like um, the x-rays just look. So they sent me for an MRI. Um, and I do have stenosis and a number of things going on in my neck. The biggest concern was that it's not stable. They were talking about the possibility of surgery, spinal surgery, for fusing my neck to make it stable because it's not stable. Um, and that scared me. I was wanting to share it with you guys, but I had more questions than I had answers. Um, and I'm not in pain. Thank you, Lord. I'm not in pain. They said they couldn't believe I'm not in pain and that I don't have headaches. And I don't. I just have a stiffness when I turn to the right and it doesn't hurt. So when we went for the follow-up after the MRI, 
Um, they said because I'm not having symptoms, they're not going to try to stabilize it or anything. They're going to let it be until um, they said I would be watching for things like uh, tripping. Um, because it is touching right there at the spinal cord, there's fluid that surrounds both sides, probably all around your uh, spinal cord uh, in your vertebra, and mine and my neck are pushing in into um, into the spinal cord. But And I do have a few signs. Now that they mentioned it, I do have tingling in my hands occasionally, but I'm not tripping or anything. So they're going to wait until, if, if, um, I trip or um, have balance problems and things like that. Uh, the biggest thing is they said, you know, I, I have to be careful not to be in any accidents, <laughs> like where there's car accident. I'm not going to be riding my mountain bike anymore, which I haven't in a long time, but that's out completely now. Or doing anything that um, is, uh, you know, could cause a fall or anything like that. I'm hiking now for, in uh, Tennessee and here at home with, uh, with uh, you know, hiking tricks, which is a good idea anyway. They're great um, to get upper body exercise. So I'm being careful. I appreciate your prayers. I'm pain free, y'all. Who can... I mean, they can't believe it. I can't believe it. Um, I'm giving glory where glory is due to my Lord. So I'm just going to ride this thing out. Uh, but that is what's going on with me. I want to be transparent with you and not make you think everything is roses. Somebody put up on one of my pictures from uh, Tennessee <clears throat> while I was gone that she loved my life. She wanted my life or something like that. And I said... Um, it's not always roses and uh, sunshine. So we all have ups and downs. Um, and this week has been a bit of a downer between Marley having her thing going on with autoimmune and Mickey being sick and me. So I'm having a little bit of a down. Appreciate your prayers. Uh, but you know what? Um, still so thankful. There are so many things to be thankful for. So many things. So I'll lift you guys up. You lift me up. Uh, we'll be an encouragement and just be real. Uh, we'll just be real and tell the truth what it is and um, and uh, be a community that supports each other through thick and through thin. That's what I love about this group. I can put it out there and um, I know that you guys are going to lift me up in prayer and um, just, it's, you know, we're going to ride this roller coaster together. So everybody's got ups and downs. Oh, yeah. We all do. So. All right, so who do I need to see? Okay, you got to come choose uh, somebody for the heart book. Okay, all right. Don't you? Oh, no, no, you want to choose? You want to tell me a number? Or is uh, that two? Should I? You can. You can okay, I'll just say a number. Yeah, ten. No, seven. Do seven. Okay. We want to do number seven? We'll see who number seven is for prevent and reverse heart disease. So okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Sandra McKellar Hodges. Sandra McKellar Hodges, you just won Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. Private message, your address to me, and we will get this out to you. So that's all of the um, things to see. Is there anything else I needed to know? Uh, I think that's it. Lots of wanting the heart books. Yeah, okay. we had to do that we'll one do. again. Yeah, we'll do it again. That's a real popular book. I looked at it. 2008, but it never, I mean, there's, the information is wonderful, so. Right. I'm going to get down. Right. Okay, you got a lot of people that are going to be praying for you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate the prayers. Um, and next week, we will be doing our live. That'll be the 24th Tuesday, of course. We're going to be doing it at 1 p.m. Jen Michelle won't be here. She'll be in Florida. But we're going to be making oat flour. And then the following week, we're going to be using that oat flour to make uh banana oat pancakes so we're going to try to keep the cooking demos coming hopefully some of you will try these seasonings that we've done and come back and tell us what your favorite combination of seasonings is so all right we're going to sign off uh watch the replay of this later keep your comments coming and we will um i'll be checking them and uh, answering things that didn't get answered uh, that you've put up that I didn't get, that I, we didn't see, so, okay. Then you just put up the recipe index, too. Yeah, okay. I would have put that stuff up. All right. Anyway, so. Thank you, guys. Have a good evening, and we will see you next Tuesday. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>